This week's news from the tubes on F5 Live Refreshing Technology is proudly powered by Malwarebytes. Whether you use a PC, a Mac, or a mobile device, Malwarebytes Premium is the company's strongest protection ever. It fights threats that traditional antivirus software can't stop, plus it actively blocks threats like worms, rogues, dialers, trojans, spyware, and a whole lot more. It allows you to use your computer and mobile devices with confidence and peace of mind. To learn more and to get a special price, you can go to f5live.tv slash Malwarebytes. Speaking of privacy and security, uh, on the 4th of July, the largest data dump of clear text passwords ever uh, hit the uh, internet. It contains more than, uh, what, eight, almost eight and a half billion passwords or something like that? No, uh, almost 10 billion passwords, um, which is the largest uh, collection since its big predecessor in 2021, which had 8.4. Uh, that's where that number came from. So 1.6 billion added in the last three years. Now, it's important to note that the majority of this data is not new data. This is um, existing and known data from multiple breaches all uh, collapsed into one. This is not a database of full credentialing. This is not username and password, email and password combos. This is a clear text list of just passwords. Obviously, the initial question is, well, then who cares? Uh, you should. Here's why. Uh, with password stuffing and um, uh, brute force attacks, a database like this gives a great starting point for uh, passwords to try. Many systems use an email address and password combo. Email addresses are very public um, because you have at some point sent an email and so therefore it has become public because that's how email works. Uh, you have also uh, likely signed up for anything ever and therefore uh, your email address is out there and available for purchase. So you take the email address and now you have a database of passwords to try. Um, it prevents all of the um, you know, brute force having to cycle through. If you can start with known uh, content, it speeds up the process for most, uh, most breaches. So what should you do? Well, first, we have a link uh, to the uh, Cyber News um, uh, password checker. You can put your password in. Uh, this is the security research firm that uh, that found this file in the first place. You can uh, see if your password is in this and any other uh, uh, breach documents. And if so, go change it. If it's not, technically you're safe for now. But uh, a couple things you should be doing. First, you should be using uh, two-factor authentication on anything that you can possibly use it on. Uh, yes, it can be a real pain in the butt, but um, it does drastically limit the possibility of somebody being able to use your public email, your now potentially public password, um, to get into uh, your email, your banking, any of that. Um, in addition, uh, uh, two-factor... Um, gives you a lot more control. I always recommend uh, a hardware piece. Mine is just off camera over there, uh, behind the camera. Um, I use a uh, YubiKey uh, for everything that I possibly can. I can use it on my phone. I can use it on my computer. Um, and then you don't have to deal with, there's one. <laughs> I knew you were gonna grab one off your desk. Um, I'm a big fan. Uh, we've been friends with the YubiKey uh, for a very, very long time. Um, I have, I have those. I have the low profile ones. They're they're great. <laughs> so it, it it so happens that I um, that I just that I got a bunch from YubiKey a couple of weeks ago, 
because I'm going to do a story, uh, although I've been distracted with this other stuff, but I promise yeah. I'm going to do it this month, uh, a story on uh, security keys and, you know, and which ones are the best ones. And mm -hmm. so they sent me a whole bunch of theirs. And one thing I was really surprised to learn um, was that they have one here. Uh, this one here is NFC, mm -hmm. right? And I was wondering when I got it, like, why on earth would I need an NFC um, security key? Well, I think the the reasoning is you could use it with your phone, mm -hmm. which I don't think most people think about having another factor for things on their phone. Yeah. Right. They just assume that they're if it's on their that on their phone, they don't need that factor, but on their right. PC, they need a factor, which is often their phone. And that's annoying. And that's why uh, I that's why people use the security keys. Now, personally, I prefer uh, this type of form factor profile one. Uh, because you can leave it in. Uh, you can leave it in the in like if you're on a laptop, you could just leave it in there. And uh, they have a type C one and they have a type A one, right? And you can just leave it in there and, and you don't, when you put it in a bag or whatever, yeah, you don't have to disconnect it. Whereas these longer ones are either kind of made to be carried on a keychain, which I think is annoying, right. or if you're plugging it into a USB hub on your desk, then sure, that's fine um, if you're leaving it there. But I, I was kind of... Uh, like one thing that was kind of education for me is that people could actually use NFC mm -hmm. for it, um, which is yeah. which is great. Uh, so we have people uh, now. If you if you go over to plunketslive.com slash ces slash twenty twenty three, you can find our YubiKey. There's also a link in this article. Uh, you can find our YubiKey uh, interview. Uh, I think it's about two thirds to the way down the page. Um, and we actually talk about all the different ways that the that the technology can be used. I think it's 2023 um, that that we had that conversation. Um, but we always love to talk to them. Uh, their products are super cool, and the you know they they do add security. There's a if I remember correctly, there's a, a lightning um, compatible one. There's the USB C one can be used with USB C phones, uh, or you can use the NFC on phones that have NFC, which is pretty cool. What I'm curious about is do any laptops still come with NFC? There were a couple. I don't, I never hear about it anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think nope. they come with it anymore. No, we, um, we did, uh, Sumo did 10 years ago, eight years ago. Um, God, we closed our office a long time ago and we were still in the office. Anyway, we did a thing with, um, NXP, on uh, NFC for computers, uh, trying to find uh, interesting and uh, viable uses for it um, on on a laptop, and yeah. we developed a prototype for a card trading game that we thought was pretty cool. You could trade between computers, you could trade between computer and phone. Uh, you know, think Pokemon, but you know, physical trading. We didn't have uh, we didn't have blockchain at the time. That would have made the whole thing a whole lot easier. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, and that was when they were trying to make it a thing. It was a real short lived feature, from what I could tell. Which, as somebody who's right. a big fan of NFC, that made me sad. <laughs> pair, you know, yeah. being able to to pair my my uh, aftershocks. They're not called that anymore. Shocks uh, headphones just by tapping it to the laptop would be awesome. <laughs> Yeah. But but yeah, so definitely um definitely check and see if if you are uh in this and any other database. You should do it regularly to see uh what your your um what's the word I'm looking for? Your um surface area of attack is wider than it should be. Um there are some services uh, built into some of your devices that do it. Apple has it on the iPhone, uh, but they don't check as many uh, data breaches as uh, Cyber News does. So you can go to Cyber News, 
see if your uh, see if your password has been breached, and if so, get away from it. Choose something else. Um, it'll definitely uh, help you out in the long run because last thing you need is somebody being able to get into your say bank account because uh, because you didn't know that your password was already uh, available. And it doesn't even have to be your account that was breached. That's the thing. If you've used a password that somebody else has, you're still uh, vulnerable to uh, to a brute force attack using this this uh, data dictionary. So definitely check, uh, protect yourself, get away from uh, passwords that are a problem, and also have a uh, good, strong uh, password strategy, either uh, unique passwords for everything and use a password manager or something like that, or... Um, at least have a three or more tier uh, password structure that you can change quickly if you need to. So anyway, uh, if anything else comes of this, we will definitely let you know. But uh, as always, uh, protect yourself online uh, best you can. Hello, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of F5 Live Refreshing Technology. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below, and of course hit the notification bell because we know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, if you've got topics that you'd like us to talk about in the future, please uh, comment them down below. And if you'd like to not follow us on YouTube, there's lots of ways that you can follow along with our content by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all of the ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.